I'm going to show you how to get your storage devices formatted for the BeatThang hardware. I have a USB stick here as well as an SD card. You can also use your uh, a USB hard drive as well. These come in really handy if you want to back up all of your songs and your patterns and the different kits and instruments that you make. I do recommend that. And you can also load your own samples off of an SD card or a USB stick. So it's real simple to do. The first thing that you want to do is insert your USB or SD card into your computer and format it as an, let's see here, MS-DOS FAT. I believe it's also referred to as FAT32 is another uh, term when it's on uh, a PC. But here on a Mac, I've got, you can see I have my SD card over here, it's titled new. And if you open up the disk utility, you just have to go search for it on your computer, find the disk utility, and you'll see all the information down here. You can just click on the two gigabyte card and it's already set on MS-DOS FAT. And I'll go ahead and name this. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it Beat Thang. I hit erase. Go ahead and let it erase. And you'll see it renamed it Beat Thang, and it's a clean slate. And then you're ready for the next step, which is placing it in the uh, Beat Thang and actually formatting it within there. So once you have formatted your media storage devices in your computer, uh, next thing you have to do is go ahead and uh, insert SD card right here. Push it in that SD slot. And if you want to use your USB stick, you can just put that right next to it. That goes right there. I would recommend only formatting one at a time though. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and do the SD card. So once it's inserted, you want to go ahead and turn your beat thing off and then turn it back on. And really that's all you have to do. It'll do, um, it'll run its own little program that will just take a few extra seconds and start up and that will automatically set your file structure up on your SD card or your USB stick. So now we can see what a properly formatted storage device looks like. I have my BeatThang SD card out here on my desktop. I'm going to open it up. And you should see seven folders. They are pretty much named uh, straightforward. What, what they are named is actually what they are. And this is where, like, you know, drum kits folder is where your drum kits will be stored. Effects is where your effects will be stored. Instruments, the instruments, and so on. Uh, samples folder is an important one if you want to load your own samples you want to make sure to go ahead and drop them in your samples folder right here if you say you have like keyboard samples and some drum samples some snare drum samples you can make a keyboard folder or a snare drum folder and go ahead and just drop those folders inside the samples folder and that'll help contain all of your uh, samples and that's the way they'll come up within the beat thing but it's pretty simple, straightforward. Go ahead and uh, try it out and have some fun.